Dr. Sue Comedian. And that the reason it says Dr. Sue Comedian is because I've had this channel for a long time. And when I started, I, I was doing com I'm still doing comedy as it turns out, but I got in a lot more into doing songs. But once I had the channel, you know, I kept it. Yeah. Now, speaking I, of songs, I do want to, I, I just added a new guest to our group here, to the neighborhood. By the way, I'm Dave Lefkowitz. I haven't mentioned that in, in, in like a while. This is Dave's gone by. Somebody wrote in my chat, yeah. Vungo. <laughs> Vungo. Well, Vungo to all of you. Oh, no, we just thought, well, we lost somebody. Who was Leslie. Somebody? Leslie was on and she went off. She, she's trying to, we always, yeah. Um, but we do have musically Richard Goldklang. He was in a, uh, a band many, back in the mid to late 60s called the Third Bardo that was recognized on the Rhino series Nuggets. Since then, he's done a lot of IT work and stuff like that. He lives out on the island pretty close to where I am. So, Richard, you had an interesting year. You you had horrendous dental work, but you look great now. How are you? Oh, um, unmute, unmute. Unmute. Can you hear me now? Okay. Can you hear me? It's interesting. You're talking through your feelings. Yeah, all right. Um. <laughs> oh, you're very... I have yeah. to switch uh, devices. I'll go to my phone if this isn't working. I'm sorry. I, I Did you understand that? Could you say what you just said again? You mentioned about having to switch devices. <laughs> oh, yeah, you might have to do that. I would suggest you do that and come back. <laughs> whatever, whatever that means. Okay. Well, his IT work, apparently he needs an IT person. <laughs> he needs a remedial. Um, okay, I'm going to, I'm getting to my <laughs> Try again, try again, because we can also talk a little bit more to, to Moisha. Uh, Dr. So I've got to let you go because I'm going to bring some more people. We're, we're... Okay, so are we saying goodbye? We're saying goodbye. If we have time at the end of the show, I'll play that video that you um, shared with us uh, or shared with me earlier in the week. Is Adam in like a hunting cabin? Yeah, I, I, Adam is the Unabomber. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dr. Sue, thank you. Thank you for stopping in. Thank you. Shalom. Okay, you. very, very nice. That's great. So, it was so nice to see you, and I'll see you again soon. Bye. Take care. care. Bye bye. And now, now, uh, Moisha, can you stay? Or do you I think I, I might be overstaying my welcome a little bit, but I will. I have another thing for you, Dave. Is it? Is it? A which is a thing? trivia question. Yeah, wait until we have a, a trivia whole, question. More people. Um, okay. Who's else coming in? We got. Ah, uh, uh, let's try Stephen one more time. Let's try Leslie one more time. While we're at it, well, well, at least we have Adam. So, Moisha. Hit us with some trivia. And okay, that us. trivia question, Yes, there's a little trick in it, but it should be very obvious, I think. What beloved Canadian game show host passed away in 2021? Beloved. Beloved. Someone was very, was very loved by his audiences. Yep. He's Canadian. He was a game show host. He passed away in 2021. Who? <laughs> Betty White, no, no, um, Adam Goggin, no. it was, it was uh, Trebek. Alex Trebek. Trebek, Alex Trebek. Very good. Two points for everybody. Uh, <laughs> that is the I'm only, sorry. that's the only trivia question I ever get right on Dave's show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know how hard it would be because sometimes with, with Americans, uh, I'm a Canadian, as you know, I'm calling from Vancouver, but sometimes Americans, they, you say Canadian, they don't know what is it, what is it about Canada, they don't know. But Alex Trebek, of course, Canadian was also American, he lived in Amer in the United States for a long time, so he was dual citizen. Leslie, Leslie, uh, Leslie unmute you yourself, I want to say Happy New Year. We have your, your Happy New Year. Happy, Happy New, New Year, Year to you, Leslie. I was here to see you again. And you didn't let me in. I don't know what happened. I just left it on. <laughs> Dave, well, we, when you've had I, enough of me, when you've had enough of me, I'll say shalom. Well, well, stick around as long as we don't have I don't freeze again and lose everything. And so we have Moisha Denberg, the musician, Adam Glass, my cousin, my old friend from junior high school and high school, Stephen Fish, in whose band, the, the Fish Heads, I was in, um, and, and, Leslie Hoban Blake of Cricket's yeah. Circle, the podcast. Oh, the, the, he's wearing the shirt. 
<laughs> that yeah. was our group. That was our. We were the moist sheep. Also, um, Stephen, that's what is your last name? Fish. Spell it. F I S C H. Oh, okay. Because fish. I was Mrs. Fish. fish for about ten ten years, and my son's name is Fish, but there's no there's no C in it. It's no just C. F I S H. Oh well, we, we could be. You never know. We could be no, related some no, other way. No, because he was Pennsylvania Dutch. He was not Jewish. Okay. Oh, okay. It was very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, have you ever wearing... seen the Frisco kid? Did you, have you ever seen the Frisco kid? Where where <laughs> he, he he thinks he sees his pen, the Amish. He goes, Landsman, Landsman. Landsman, Landsman. He's he his own people. Hi, Eva. And then he faints when he realizes Hello, Eva. Well, now that's Eva Heineman. I should mention Eva has her own theater review pro she has had it for many many years it's called high drama that you can watch on facebook and also on um YouTube and Org now youtube um various places Twitter. so welcome eva hi happy new year happy <laughs> almost new year to you too I, mean, I think i'm gonna have everybody just kind of stay on and, and um and ring in the new year because we're five minutes away i'm okay, ready with a lachayim wow. what yeah. get your lachayim ready my battery is very low now. My, I just left it here. Water. <laughs> oh, well, well, we still see you, Leslie. So, Leslie, you you had a hell of a year. You you came through the big C, and you're you're doubling fine and still. Oh no! Ah, oh, goddamn! You lost her again. Not the not the, the big C. Just we just lost her feet. <laughs> 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 Wow, Dave, you've got timing, buddy. You really do. Oh, oh his timing is great, Adam. Yeah. The best. <laughs> anyway, Eva, how was your year? But um, boom. <laughs> yeah. So Eva, 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 what's the best? I mean, you you got to you know when theater opened up again. Did I'm she, sure you started. Did she go to London? Wasn't she in London? Oh, did, yeah, that's right. You went to London too, right? Tell us, tell us, Eva. Yes, I mean that's what I'm going to talk about. I have after 14 years. I finally had a holiday. <laughs> mid Muslim, mid So what did you do in London? Did you go to a lot of theater? Susan, come on out. Oh, no, I, I did see five plays, but that's what I want to talk about, because I want to talk about, talk about, about the best thing to have. OK, when I, when, I, when, I went, when I finished college, I went to live in England for a while, and then I was an au pair in Paris. And I worked for this family called the Voxelman. And for 42 years, I stayed friends with them. And so I went to see uh, Renaud, who is now 46, and I knew him when he was like four. And his mother is 84, Mana Voxman, and she's in an um, assisted living. She has Alzheimer's. And the big thing was, will she remember me? And I got there. And she goes, Eva! And she grabbed me by the arm, and she was so happy to see me. She remembered me. It was just the highlight of the trip, was to see my box woman and have her remember me. That is and, when you, and I got to tell you the name of the hotel I stayed at. It was the funniest thing. Oh, my God, we are theater critics. It was, I'm not making this up. It was called the Untalented Hotel. Really? Untalented. Yes. <laughs> I'm talented hotel. I'll send you pictures to prove it. My God, if they ever build a hotel for me, that, yeah, that, that's, where, <laughs> that's where they call it. Now, let me also welcome, first of all, uh, Stephen Fish. Yeah. Stephen, Stephen. Tell me something uh, good that happened to you this year. Well, okay. Uh, well, last time I talked to you, uh, on, on, on YouTube, I was sort of unofficially retired. Do you hear me now? Uh, well, yeah, we just stay still and we'll hear you better. Yeah. Okay. You know, you know, turn on. Give me. Oh, sorry. Uh, give, give me. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Okay. I was unofficially retired, but now uh, it's official. I am officially retired as of January. So. Mazel <laughs> tov. Thank you. Thanks. That, thanks. And uh, you know, I, I was a, a home instruction teacher. That that's what I did for 25 years in, in Manhattan. Uh, and it was a, it was and it was a it was a it was a fun job for its time, but now it's you know time to move on in life. So, what do you think you're going to do in 2022? What's what do you? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm kind of still in limbo because of you know what's going on. Uh, you know, I, I like I would like to get out and travel and do things, but it's, you know right now I really can't because because of the situation and because of you know my girlfriend's health situation. You know, so, uh, so, and I have to make sure that I stay clear, you know, any 
anything like that. You know, I, I, but I, I do have all three of the vaccinations, and so does she. So, uh, well, you know, we but, have. I should say, as I said, Stephen Fish. I've known him since I was in junior high school. We have got one more person logging on to get us into the new year. Uh, he is my oldest friend. We've known each other since third grade. And wow. so he's, he's still connecting to audio, but hun, hun. It's too late. It's, it's like, it's going to be one minute. We're instead of our, our typical, hold on. It's not going to be a ball drop. I'll drop it. Oh, this, I'm this, watching this, the like, ball this drop. such a terrible no, year. Open these we are okay. going to be lowering. I, I, yeah, I can. Instead of like I, a ball dropping or anything like that. It was such a stinky, horrible year. We don't see it yet. She is doing the lowering of the deodorant. <laughs> and we're going to start a countdown. Excellent. 30, 29, 28, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 16, 17, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, Four, three, two, one. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Baby Potato New Year is joining us after the lowering of the deodorant. Happy New Year to all our viewers. And of course, to Moshe Denver, to Adam Glass, to Stephen Fish, and his lovely. Okay, don't worry about it. You're not flashing, but here, put this on. I'm not flashing, but. <laughs> hey. 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 First fortune cookie of the new year. Let, let's let's see. Let's. Well, I'm usually the king of all the fortunes. All let's right. see what the, the the year has in store for me, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm opening this up. So this is going to be. Oh, I love Stephen's glasses. Aren't they great? All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm reading this as we speak. What does this say? There can be no existence of evil as a force in a healthy minded individual. <laughs> this is the kind of fucking fortunes I get. Came from the I said to the thing? former president. It's profound. <laughs> I, I think that when you start thinking about that, you can't eat the rest well, of the meal. I mean, really I'm seriously. I don't know if you want to eat. It doesn't I mean, mean, I mean, I mean, bad. 